everyone and welcome back to my channel today i will be painting my kitchen island gray i'm going to be using the same color that is in the master bedroom and the master bathroom i had quite a bit of leftover paint and i felt like i wanted to kind of brighten up the kitchen a little bit so today that is what i will be doing So before I get started with the painting, I'm just going to be taking off these little corbels that I have right here and they are Velcroed on. So I'm just taking them off and then I am removing everything from the inside out of here and then I will vacuum out the dust. And then I'm just going to take some cleaner and then just kind of wipe the whole thing down. Now I'm just going to be removing the drawers and then I will also be taking anything off that is screwed in. Um, I have this little towel holder right here that I will be taking off and then I will also be taking off the doors. Okay, so this is the color that I'm going to use for my island. It is the same color that is in the master bedroom and the master bathroom. It is called Candlestick Silver. And um, I'm just going to use a brush to do like the corners and like the hard to reach places. And then when I am all finished with the brush, I'm going to go back and use a roller. So I'm thinking I'm going to need it quite a few coats I'm guessing three um, I'm not gonna put a primer on this because I do want some of the black to show through I'm gonna try to distress it um, I might even do like a stain to make it look a little antiqued I'm not sure yet so let's just see how this goes and then I will decide what I'm gonna do I was so happy that this paint went on so well and it covered so well. I only needed two coats total. So I got really just into my painting with the brush. So I went ahead and just painted the first coat with the brush. And then I went back and painted the second coat with the roller. Thank 
colored dreams, I see a dark green line. I still remember every sleepless night. But in your arms, I sleep like a baby. So now I'm going to paint the doors and before I do that I'm going to use this tape and I'm just going to tape off the hardware. I know it's probably better to take it completely off but this is really old hardware on these doors and last time I tried taking it off I broke one of the screws so I just didn't want to um, hassle with that. So I just go ahead I went ahead and I covered them up with some tape and um, then I realized once I was looking at the doors, I didn't really like the appliques that were on them. I had these like little wreaths and I thought they would look really pretty. So yeah, I decided to just um, go ahead and take the old ones off. And I don't know about you guys, but have you ever got into a project and thought, what was I thinking? <laughs> well, that's what happened here. I don't know if it was just the glue that was on here really um, thick or what it was, but as soon as I started taking these off, they just started splintering up and they were just really hard to take off. So my husband ended up helping me. And then um, once I got them off or once we got them off, um, I just took some sandpaper, I sanded them down and then wiped them clean. And then I started painting. here is what everything looks like right now I have the doors off and the drawers out and I've only used a brush so far and this is just one coat so I'm thinking that two coats will probably be good enough this is what this side looks like and then I just have the, the drawers right here and So here are the doors and um, the paint is still drying on them right now. I don't know what that is. Um, anyway, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a roller and I'm just going to roll the paint on and try to get like the brush marks off. And I am just using this super... Um, Gosh, I don't know it's just a really soft roller and I used one very similar to this it was more spongy though 
I used it for my cabinets when I painted those. So I'm just gonna add one more coat with my roller and hopefully by then these doors will be dry. And I think I'm gonna add the appliques to the front of these and um, possibly try to put them on. I'm not sure. I don't wanna put them on when they're too wet, so we'll see. So to attach my appliques to the doors, I'm just going to be using this E6000 and I'm just going to apply a generous amount to the applique and then I have already marked it where I want it to go on my door and then I will place it there and then I will give it some time to dry and then I will go ahead and put another coat of paint on there. So now that I have my kitchen island all painted, I'm really loving the way it looks right now and I am going to give it a couple days and I'm going to think about what I want to do as far as staining it and distressing it. I probably will end up distressing it, but for now I'm just going to leave it and I hope you guys like the results. I hope it gave you some inspiration to maybe paint something in your own home. And I want to thank everyone for watching this video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new and have a wonderful day. Bye.